Uh, I'm Campbell, um, I'm 24, I live in Sydney, uh, I'm also HIV positive. Um, so my story sort of begins at the start of the year um, in terms of um, so, uh, online dating apps and hookup apps. I really wanted to figure out a way to um, sort of show my status as being uh, positive and undetectable and sort of go from, move from the the traditional plus in the brackets to a plus and a U. Um, and the reason why I chose plus and U um, in the order is because obviously you get you become positive first and then you become undetectable. Um, and then also for the reader as well, um, it can be um, sort of a, a way that draws them in and says, you too, like plus you, you this involves you as well. Um, so that's um, where plus you came from and sort of started putting it on my, uh, my profiles and then uh, we got put in an art gallery and from that it sort of it just exploded um, we got put on all on online different blogs um, a few uh, gay newspapers and stuff like that so it's pretty intense so it means that um, someone's on treatment um, uh, antiretroviral treatment uh, and it makes the the virus in their body um, to a point where it's undetectable or transmission is almost um, not possible. Um, obviously there's still some risk involved but um, unlike previously to where someone would still have a large amount of the virus and can transmit it, now it's, uh, it makes the viral load go down to an undetectable level. De decreases risk, yeah. So there is obviously that risk still there um, but it means that in those situations uh, where you're in the heat of the moment um, and mistakes happen, you don't use a condom, that the chance of uh, you being infected, that somebody that is um, undetectable, is, is almost zero. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, For me personally, being undetectable um, it sort of shows people and to myself that I'm looking after myself I'm um, thinking about long term and also other people because at the end of the day I don't want to pass HIV on to anyone else so being undetectable is in well you know I'm taking ownership of this I'm, I'm gonna um, be as cautious as possible and obviously those risky behaviours do happen now and then uh, but everyone gets caught in those moments Um, not hugely. The main uh, area that I do get a bit of stigma is my age. So I get the, the statement, oh, you're so young, you should have known better. Um, but at the end of the day, sure, that might be a case, but um, it takes two to tango. And uh, I can say that the person that I got it from was not under the age of 29, they were over the age of 30. So it's a, it's a two-way thing here, and I think as a, as a young person, we did miss out on the education of, um, of the late 80s and the early 90s. Um, but obviously with awareness and education, that's something that we can build on. Uh, so the Indian HIV website, indianhiv.org.au is a really good website. Um, it has um, some really good resources on what does it mean to be undetectable, um, where, to, where to test, where to get um, sexual health screenings, um, and just the overall myth busting on HIV. Um, for example, can you get HIV from kissing someone? Um, so those really basic fundamentals that I guess we all have sort of grown up with um, sort of explains the science behind it and also the reasons as well. So.